This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Reflections by Toshifumi Hinata. Okay, so I'll be teaching you both like the easy version and also the more advanced version where you add a left hand pattern to it. Give you a preview of both right now before we start learning it. Check it out. So the easy version this is the block chord version. Okay, and afterwards you can add the patterns to it. You could be like. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn. The melody and block chord version is essential before you add your own patterns to it or do like the jumpy pattern as well. Okay, very essential. So here we go. Right hand starts on the E, middle C, Gorbin octave C, E here. So it goes E up to B, C, down to G, A, and back up to C, B, down to G, E. That's it for the first part for the right hand. All right, let's learn it again. So it goes E, B, C, G, A. C, B, G, E. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are A minor plus A second. So it's four notes. A, B, C, E. All right. And then the second chord is G minor plus a second. So it's G, A, B flat, D. Third chord is A minor plus a second again. And then the fourth chord is D minor seven. It's D, F, A, C. Alright, so with these four chords in mind, so all of them are four note chords here. So you can see it's A minor second, G minor second, A minor second, and then the D minor seven. Okay? Like that. So hands together goes like this. So right hand starts. B and chord together. And then together on the A. Together. Together on the E. There you go. Let's learn it again. It goes together. Together. Together, together. And that's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues, goes E, F, down to A, up to E, D, C, B. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it again. It goes E, F, down to A, E, D, C, B. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have these four elements. So first of all, we have D minor seven once again, D, F, A, C. And then the second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. And the third element is just the bass note, G sharp. And then the last chord is just A minor plus the second, which is A, B, C, E, which you learned in the first part. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so four elements, I mean, D minor seven, G major, and then G sharp bass note, and then A minor plus the second. Two hands together, goes like this. So E and D minor seven together. E and G major together. Up a D, bass note by itself. B and the... A minor second together. That's it. Let's learn it again. So together, 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 like that. All right. So back to back, the two parts of this lesson would be play like this. And you can repeat the last chord like that. All right. Yeah. There you go. So once you get the melody and chords of this all good, once you can repeat it every single time and it's like pretty much consistently correct, then you can start to just try the jump where you play the pattern. Uh, you can play in a kind of a waltz pattern, like one, two, three, one, two, three. So for the chords, right, you want to do the root note played like an octave below as an octave or a bass note, doesn't really matter. If you can't reach an octave, just do one, the lower note, okay? So for the A minor second one, for example, you do the bass note and then followed by the chord higher, an octave higher, twice like that. So for this one, and same for the G one, you do the bass note, then two, three, the second and third count is with that higher one. The same thing here, and same for this one, same for this one, same 
but for this one it's passing so you only do it once and then the bass note G sharp and A minor second like that all right just like that so one two three one two three okay well, let's try again so one two three 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 two two three so your hand might be a little tired by all the jumping but if you're a beginner just start off with just the block chord first build your like uh like being able to play it accurately and consistently correct first and then start to add the pattern in if you can't do an octave it's a bit tiring then just do the lower note as a single note so just be like and if you're not that good in like jumping that many that like long distance and having accurate notes as well then you can reduce distance just do a one octave jump do that yeah so you can do it like that all right yeah it's really up to you it sounds good like that already as well sounds pretty good like that okay and then you get the add an octave yeah i think that massive jump and the octaves makes it a little bit too epic okay but it's up to you if you like a more epic you can do it as octaves as i said or if you're not just single notes and less of a jump and that makes it even easier as well to learn okay so really up to you uh, but really master the melody and block chords first as i said that is the essential foundation for the song and if without that mastered like this adding the patterns would be a lot harder okay so yeah once again as i said you can do it a simple way And you can make a big one. You can do octaves for right hand. Yeah, play around with it. Pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn more awesome Japanese tunes like this, just search up your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find all those other lessons to learn for yourself. Or you can check out my Japanese songs playlist as well. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.